here we back with another interesting video not today man not wasting no time we're gonna talk about it six the goddess versus mediocre tutorials and reviews in this video we're gonna call him mtr a few weeks ago i dropped a video if y'all remember look take a look up on the screen man the video was entitled six the goddess versus mtr holding women accountable and in that video man i told you in so many words you can't hold no woman accountable in the united states of america and in that video, I gave my commentary on the video put out by MTR where he was going in on Six to Goddess. And I don't got a problem if you're going in on Six to Goddess, man. I don't went in on Six to Goddess in the past. I got classics in the catalog going in on Six to Goddess. You already know what it is. But the other day, Six actually put out a video giving a response to MTR. And today we're going to review that. Let's get into it, man. Not wasting no time. Run the footage. Start by saying that I never in my life had a problem with MTR. I never in my life had disrespected MTR. I did not watch his content. I did not care, okay? That's how I get down. MTR is his own content, content creator. I'm my own content creator. I never bothered him. If I'm being completely honest, a woman like myself look at a man like MTR as a corny dude, okay? I'm just gonna keep it real with y'all. When I see him, I see corny vibes. Man, listen, I'm telling you, when I come with the critical analysis, I never miss. In that video I put out a couple weeks ago regarding this whole situation, I told you, I told you, MTR, you hopping on the YouTube video trying to hold her accountable, the only thing she gonna say, nigga, you corny, nigga, you lame. I told you that was gonna happen. In fact, I got the footage. We gonna run the footage. We gonna run it back. We gonna run it back because I told you that was gonna happen, bro. Listen, I know black women like the back of my hand, bro. I know black women, bro. I told you. I got five sisters, man. I know the mentality and the psychology of the black woman. I knew she was gonna come back and say, you lame, you corny, you this, that, and the third, you gay. I know what it is. In fact, we gonna run the footage, man. R run it back. Run it back to the video from the other week. The MCR, you ain't have to make that video, man. Because unless she works for you, unless she's down with your team, Unless you smashing that, let me tell you, bro, the psychology of our women, they don't give a fuck what you talking about, my nigga. That's why I said on my last couple of videos, don't even waste your time, bro. Don't even waste your time. Don't even waste your breath. Because the only thing that's going to happen is she going to throw you in the group chat with her friends and they're going to be like, man, look at this lame ass nigga. Now, I'm not calling you a lame. I got respect for you, bro. But I'm just saying, I understand the psychology of our women, bro. I'm telling you what it is. Holding women accountable, bro. We don't hold women accountable by talking their ear off, bro. That shit don't work. That shit don't work. You got to understand the psychology of our women, especially, as you say, the modern woman, right? I don't really use that term too much on my channel, but yeah, y'all boys on that sector of YouTube, the modern woman. You got to understand the psychology of the of the modern woman, bro. I know you feel like you just told Six the Goddess off. I know you feel like you just, you know what I'm saying? You just let her have it. You held her accountable, but I'm telling you right now, she in a group chat with her homegirls laughing her ass off right now, bro. I'm telling you, you didn't do shit, bro. You didn't do shit. You are better off not even saying nothing, bro. Not even saying nothing. Not even acknowledging the situation. And the way you really hold him accountable is if maybe down the line, she might have reached out for a collab and then you respectfully decline. Like, listen, I ain't really trying to collab with you. I'm not really trying to extend my platform to you because of X, Y, and Z, because I seen you do this. I seen you say this. That's how you hold women accountable. That's when you're in the position of power, right? But all right, we back, man. I'm telling you, I put out that video on the 17th of April over a month ago. And I told y'all this was going to happen. She put out this video like two days ago. And I told you she was going to come back at MTR and say, you lame, you corny. And I told MCR, bro, you wasting your time. Don't even waste your breath. Don't even waste your time on that shit, bro. At the end of the day, you're going to be the one looking crazy. Now, in case you didn't know, in case you knew here, the reason why MTR put out that video going in on Six the Goddess was because Six the Goddess was on a live stream. She was cracking a joke about a black man that almost lost his life. Now, I'm not going to get into it. Shout out to Nathan Daly, but but if y'all saw my video from last month, then you already know what happened. And later in this video, Six is actually going to play the clips from MCR's video, and she's going to break it down anyway. So sit back, relax, run the footage. Let's get into it interact with someone in real life so i'm not going to interact on the internet i never felt the need to drag him or you know bring him into anything if you are the man teaching men how to be men have at it okay <laughs> so be it all right it's not my place to speak on that however what i noticed and what i don't respect about you mtr is that you're teaching manhood but you don't have a mind of your own the minute that people tell you what to say or how to feel you concede to it which all right we back i just want to give the disclaimer during this whole video i'm telling you six i'm telling you bro i'm gonna tell you right now you gotta be a sharp brother to deal with six the goddess because she gonna pull out all type of all type of butcher knives and all type of machetes and all type of pocket knives and all type of different blades and swords when she pulling out the conversation listen you gotta be a sharp brother because the manipulation tactics is on 100 percent 
So if you're not a sharp brother, you're not a brother that actually listens and takes in the information and really, you know, keeping your eyes on shit. I'm telling you, I could see how she could run game around a lot of you dudes. And right off the bat, she still has not addressed his argument yet. She said in the stage by taking little shots at his manhood, trying to minimize him. You know what I mean? Listen, the manipulation tactic is on 100%. But like I said, we already know what it is. We know what walk of life she came from. So I'm telling you, you got to be careful with women like this, bro. They dangerous. They dangerous, man. Anyways, let's run the footage. A few months ago, MTR did a video about the most attractive female YouTubers in which he dubbed me as number one. Cool. No problem. <laughs> oh, my goodness, man. Listen, listen. She said in the stage, she said in the stage. All right. She came in the door minimizing your manhood, taking shots, saying you a corny dude. You ain't even a real man. And now she's elevating herself in the eyes of the audience saying this dude is really my fan. This dude really he loves me. So like I told you, the manipulation tactics is on 100%. But MTR, I told you, I told you this was going to happen because you're going to open yourself up to disrespect when you try to hold these women accountable. You cannot hold women accountable in the United States of America. It's impossible. You got damn near 600,000 subscribers. She don't even got 75,000 subscribers. The level of promotion that you've been giving her, she should have paid you at least $5,000. Now, at the end of the day, she done ran off with the free promotion and now she dissing you on an international platform. Jesus Christ, man. I told you, you are better off not saying nothing, bro. Silently cutting off all relations and doing your own thing, breaking off, not even acknowledging her anymore if you really felt the way you felt. But now, at the end of the day, I told you, this was gonna happen. She was gonna come back. She was gonna come back and diss you, bro. I'm sorry, bro. I told you, man. I told y'all boys, y'all can't hold women accountable. Let's get back into it. MTR decided that he liked what he saw in me. Great. You should stand on that. The minute the men left comments, oh, oh, why are you giving her attention? Why are you elevating her? She this and she that. You know what he did? Took the video down. Why? That's how you felt. You stand on it. Okay. I never responded to that. I just kind of let it be that. I thought it was lame once again, kind of confirmed the corny vibes I was getting, whatever. MTR, don't tell, tell me she lying, bro. MTR, tell me she lying, bro. Come on, man. Tell me she lying. Ain't no way you did that shit. <laughs> Ain't no way you did that shit, bro. MTR, listen up, man. You got way too much bankroll. You got way too much clout to be moving how you maneuvering, bro. You should have just pulled up on it. If that's how you felt, you should have just pulled up on it and be like, what's good, bro? But I understand you got a brand to you got a brand to uphold. So if they seen you with Six the Goddess, she got a kid that's damn near in high school. So they would have been like, bro, you hanging out with a single mom. So I, listen, they would have clowned you. They would have clowned you. So you can't even get at the chicks you want to get at due to the brand that you created, due to the image that you upheld. And I didn't even see the video that she's talking about. But I'll tell you this right now, MTR. If you out here making videos talking about the top five most attractive women in the in the black YouTube space. Yeah, bro. I'm so, bro. You might as well just pull up in the DMs, man. You don't got to be taking three point shots from backcourt like that. You know what I mean? Bro, just pull up in the DMs like, man, what's popping, man? It's MTR in the building. Like, they already know what it is. They know who it is. They gonna see the blue check. They already know what it is. So, MTR, you tripping, bro. You tripping and you open yourself up to disrespect. And now you're getting dissed on a major platform when you really shouldn't have even gave her no acknowledgement to begin with because she just popped up on the scene. You a veteran in the game. But like I said, you probably wanted to get at that. I understand. But now, look what you did to yourself, bro. I'm telling you, in life, you get so much farther by not saying anything. The less words you use, the better. Sometimes silence is the greatest form of communication. You don't got to say too much. You don't got to make a video. You don't got to make a declaration or a proclamation. You could just cut off all forms of communication. Stop giving your acknowledgement. And I guarantee that's going to speak volumes in the minds of any woman. I'm telling you, bro. I told you. I understand the psychology of our women. The mentality of the black woman. I understand it, bro. I understand it. Just, just stop talking. When you try to debate, when you try to go back and forth, it's a complete waste of time. When you stop talking, when you walk away from the table, suddenly all forms of communication become easy to maneuver. I don't know what it is. I'm telling you, bro. You are just better off not saying nothing. Most times, you don't even need to give an explanation or a declaration because the person isn't even that important. So at the end of the day, man, I'm telling you, I told y'all when the video came out, this was going to happen. I told y'all. Let's get back into it. If I like someone, I like them. I don't give a damn if you agree with it or not. You know what I'm saying? I feel like that way as a woman. Coming at his manhood once again. I told you, man. I told you. And the reason why I say that you open yourself up to disrespect is because deep down, women already understand in the grand scheme of things, a man of MCR's status, a man of MCR's caliber shouldn't even be worried about none of that little bullshit that she be talking about. And due to the fact that you gave her your acknowledgement on multiple occasions, you already decrease your value in her eyes. Meaning that any level of mystique, any level of importance that you may have had in her eyes before you open your mouth, that all evaporated once you gave her your acknowledgement. Now in her eyes, you are her equal. In fact, she's talking to you as if you are beneath her because you open yourself up to that level of disrespect. Now, let's get back into it. So 
MTR decides to speak up against me before he even knows what is going on here, okay? Which again, I find that to be problematic. Man, listen, I understand I'm a young brother, but I'm from the old school, man. I did not know that men had to consult with women before we decided to confront them about anything that was on our mind. I didn't know that was something that we had to do. We had to get our permission slip before we, you know what I mean, decided to hold you accountable and put you on the podium. Listen, I don't know, man. I don't know. I'm not from I'm, I'm not from the new school. You know what I'm saying? I'm not a modern man. You know, I'm not a modern man. You know how they talk about the modern woman and the modern... I'm not a modern man. So I didn't know that men had to actually consult with women before we decided to tell you what's on our mind. I thought men just came to the table and, t and told you what it is. But like I told you, the manipulation tactics are on 100%. Because Six the Goddess already knows this. She already knows. A man walks in through the door and he tells you what it is and what it's going to be. He don't need to consult with you. He don't need to ask your permission to tell you what it No, He just coming through the door and laying it on the table. Now, like I said before, in many situations, it's usually best to just walk away from the table, not say nothing. But in the case that you do feel like saying something, you don't got to ask permission. You don't got to consult with nobody. I'm coming through and I'm telling you what it is. I'm telling you what's on my mind. But remember what I said. She's setting the stage before she gets into the actual topic of discussion. And the reason why she's doing this and saying all of this is because she wants to minimize MTR's image in the eyes of the audience before she gets into the actual main event. Like I told y'all, man, we know what walk of life she came from. We already ran the background check. A woman like this is a professional when it comes to manipulating the minds of the less intelligent. So you gotta be sharp, you gotta, you gotta stay on your toes, you gotta be on your P's and Q's and understand what it is. The manipulation tactics are in 100%. Anyways, let's run the footage, let's go. When it's your sister who say, my name is Six, now all of a sudden you wanna go in there and dox me, put my real name out there, he went left. Somebody roast you, you roast him back. He took it all the way to doxing and proceeded to make a seven hour long live stream about me. All right, we back. Now, the person she's talking about in that segment of the video is, is a gentleman by the name of Real Nathan Daly. That was a gentleman that she had a, a verbal confrontation with some months back, sometime last year. And that was a gentleman that she was actually making fun of that almost lost his life. And MTR made a video defending that brother's image, defending that brother's name, defending a fellow black man. Now, we're not going to go off topic, but we already know Six the Goddess, she's from that she from that FBA sector of YouTube, so she don't really see Nathan Daly as a fellow black man, you know what I mean? But when it comes to MTR, he's not down with that squad. He's not down with that sector of YouTube. So when it comes to Nathan Daly, he sees Nathan Daly as a fellow black man, regardless of where he's from, regardless of where he came from, regardless of where he grew up. He don't play them ethnic tribal games. So he decided to put out a video defending Nathan Daly, which I respect. Defend your fellow brother. But at the same time, I told you, you are wasting your time trying to hold her accountable. And I told you, she was going to try to come back and disrespect you. And I mentioned it before on videos that I dropped in the past. When you try to go back and forth with a woman, eventually it's going to turn into some 12th grade, 8th grade, 4th grade schoolyard bullshit. Roasting back and forth, trying to crack jokes. And then you're going to look back and be like, man, that was an entire waste of time. Why did I even waste my time going back and forth? Like, why did I even waste the energy? And I guarantee that's how you're feeling right now. I told you, my brother. Anyways, let's get back into it. So uh, he proceeds to make the seven hour long live stream. The whole situation with Pearly ends up coming back up. Somehow we get back on the subject. He just, I decide to come back at him. Like, I'm not arguing with you because you don't let go of nothing. Which then I proceed to show a, um, I proceed to show a video where back when he was a police officer for a very short period of time, that he got drugged on Highway 285. Okay. And there's truth behind every joke because, because really I was serious. When I seen how you're conducting yourself on a job, I have no desire to have a back and forth with you because I see you have a very egotistical personality into which you try to stop a moving vehicle. That video that I laughed at, that I was evil for laughing at, which we're going to get into that, MTR, that was a preventable incident in which he endangered himself, his fellow officer, the possible suspect, and everyone around him because of his ego. And not at one point, MTR, did you take the time to look into this and say, you know what, this man is an ex-police officer. If you know, you know, police officers are some of the most dangerous men for women to get into it with. They have very high rates of domestic violence, stalking, and harassing. So you would think that at some point, the masculinity would kick in, the protective instinct would kick in and say, hey, this is some dumb YouTube beef. 
This is not serious enough for us to perpetuate this man's actions towards a black woman when this all came from something very minor. This literally is all an ego thing. But instead, you fall into his passive aggressive, manipulative, microaggressive ways, and you sit there and give him a cosign and inserted yourself in something that it had nothing to do with you. Man, I'm telling you, the manipulation tactics on a thousand percent. So what she's trying to say is that MTR shouldn't have defended another black man because he's a police officer and we know the domestic violence rates of police officers are high and we should have consulted with the black woman first before we defended a fellow black man and unless a situation has something directly to do with you then you should never defend another black man that's the logic that i'm trying to follow that six the goddess is trying to lay down i'm trying to follow the logic now this is why i say the united states is completely backwards here now six the goddess sit down man sit down have a seat man i have a seat have a seat i understand you're a western woman as they call it you're a woman of the west formerly a woman of the night <laughs> you know what i mean so sit down let, let, let's have a discussion i understand you're one of those female content creators giving women advice on how to be the best wife they could be be the best woman they could be i'm gonna tell you right now i understand you're one of those women that want a man that provides and protects and, and also possesses the characteristics and the personality traits of a masculine man I, I get it i get it but sit down for a second let's have a discussion man when it comes to a man defending his fellow brother at the end of the day all that bullshit you talking about it doesn't matter whether he's a police officer whether he's a janitor whether he's a pilot whether he's a goddamn firefighter it don't matter that's my brother i'm gonna defend him that's the mentality of men around the world all right and we don't got to consult a woman to to carry that out you're irrelevant to that equation i'm gonna tell you i'm telling you right now so if mcr felt that a black man a fellow black man was disrespected on a major level then all that nonsense you're talking about is irrelevant because in any culture around the world they're gonna tell you sit down be quiet you're running your goddamn mouth too much you're talking crazy sit down be quiet for a second the men are speaking I'm telling you right now, they're not going to consult with you. They're not going to sit down. No, the only place in the world where a woman can just freely run her mouth and talk crazy and disrespect men at a major degree is the United States. This little pocket of North America is the only place where it goes down. And that's why I tell y'all boys, you cannot hold a woman accountable in the United States. You cannot unless she is in your immediate family, unless she is your employee, unless she is your wife, unless she is your daughter, then you don't really have any any influence in really holding her accountable so it's best to just remove yourself from the situation and not give them any acknowledgement once you realize that it's time to cut ties and like i said silence is the greatest form of communication you don't got to say nothing and we got to address the manipulation tactics once again she said something about mtr's masculine instincts should have kicked in and you should have came and protected a black woman from from nathan daly no 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 you see when it comes to men women love playing that divide and conquer strategy against men Oh, protect me from that other man that's a form of proxy violence I've, I've done videos on that in the past women listen they're gonna sit on the sidelines they're gonna instigate conflict and tension amongst men and the men they're gonna duke it out they're gonna battle it out they're gonna fight to the death one man gonna die one man gonna go to prison and she gonna choose up on another man and that's why i told y'all when it comes to women like this you got to be sharp when it comes to women like this you got to stay on your p's and q's because they're gonna try to run circles around you but like i said it only works on a stupid individual it only works on a weak man it only works on a man whose neurons ain't firing at a rapid pace listen we can critically think on this youtube channel and the woman that looks like six the goddess we got to be honest she is accustomed to a certain treatment from men, men who don't question her, men who don't really exemplify their intellect at a very high level to not really intimidate her, men who roll out the red carpet for her. So she's not used to that, man. She used to really run into mind games on stupid, stupid niggas, weak individuals, weak men who are controlled by the flesh. She's not accustomed to black men that can critically think. I can tell you that because the manipulation tactic she's using six, you got to come better than that. Let's continue. Okay, so after we have a man that has doxed me, try attempted to pull up lies, bullshit, media takeout, and Lipstick Alley articles, defamed me, made stuff up, tried to stop my bag, tried to hurt my child, embarrass my child, tried to humiliate me. He went to, he pulled out every stop he potentially could. Because I don't believe in this whole thing. Okay, you roast me, I roast you. And then somebody is like, well, you took it too far. There is no such thing as that. You took it too far, I'm going to take it too far too. That's the way it's going to go. And I decided to place those two clips together back to back on purpose because on the first clip, she said, he's attacking me. I'm a victim. I'm a damsel in distress. Come rescue me. Come save me. Protect the black woman. And in the second clip, she said, ain't no too far. You go too far, we're going too far. We're going all the way. So what is it, man? Is you ready for war? Or are you a damsel in distress in need of a rescue? Make up your mind, baby girl. Make up your mind. Either way it goes. I don't know if MTR and Nathan Daly have a relationship or a friendship behind the scenes, but for whatever reason, MTR decided to defend his mans. And at the end of the day, 
a man gonna do whatever the hell a man gonna do. So it seeks the goddess, you have no control over that. And a man doesn't need your permission to do that. Now let's get back into it. Where is your empathy? Where is your decency? Where is your decorum? Where is your code? How on God's green earth can you talk about being an advocate for men, which I thought that she was? Well, this is why I'm glad they don't pay you to think MTR. And this is why you need to stop being so reactive. The minute people come to you with something, you just jump on it. A man is supposed to take time to sit back, think things through, Think about how it could affect, harm his environment before he make a move, okay? Ain't nobody over here no goddamn black male advocate. That's weird. I'm a black woman. Why would I be a black male advocate? All right, we back. Now, even me, myself, I got to stand behind what she said because you know on my channel, I have a, I have a very high dose of, of pessimism when it comes to these women that talk about they pro-black and I'm so pro-black, I'm pro-black, yeah, 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 all right, yeah, 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 sure, anyways. So, you know, naturally, I'm pessimistic and I'm, I'm very skeptical about these type of women, so I don't look at any, you know, I don't look at any woman or no black male advocate, I look at the majority of y'all like some frauds trying to run game and manipulate less intelligent men. I'm gonna be honest with y'all, that's what I see y'all as. When it comes to me, any woman walking through the door talking about I'm pro-black, I'm, I'm for the black family, I'm for the black man, I'm for the black community, I'm looking at the majority of y'all like some frauds. I'm going to be honest. Because in my anecdotal experience, y'all some frauds. So, MTR, you a goofy for ever even having anybody on a pedestal thinking, oh yeah, she advocating for the black man, she down for the black man. Most of these women is running game, bro. Most of these women is running game. And, I'm, and I showed you in this video, Six the Goddess herself is pulling out all the manipulation tactics. So if I can see it in this one video right here, am I wrong to think what I think? That the majority of these women is out here trying to run game? Especially these pro-black, black power fist up in the air? Yeah, fuck out of here. Anyways, let's continue. You all know the drama with the just pearly things. You all know that MTR tried his very best, which we're going to pull that content up as well. When the whole thing first blew up with Pearl, we all know that MTR tried to play deaf, dumb, and blind and play dead, tried to make all the excuses in the world for Pearly on why she not really gracious and why she not really a bad person. That was MTR's MO from the beginning of the whole Pearly scandal. Okay. And again, we're going to go into that. We're going to show his initial reaction to and how he changed that once his audience made him. That's how he get down. Okay, whatever y'all want to hear, that's what he do. So his whole issue with me is, oh, I laughed at a black man losing his life. Then we have Pearl who turns around and laughs at the fact that you had cancer, allegedly. Now, when we look at MTR try to go in on me and insert himself in something that had nothing to do with him and that he knew nothing about, y'all, he doing the most, baby. he got lights dramatic music in the background he about to go in on me as though he's my father reprimanding me for coming home late on a school night which the audacity for me <laughs> i told you man you cannot hold women accountable in the united states of america you see how she's talking to you mtr are oh, you trying to talk to me like you my father trying to reprimand me you can't tell me shit basically she's telling you you can't tell me shit brother and even her own father probably can't tell her shit because as you already know we we're not gonna go into her background we already know she was up in them clubs at an early age, so even her father couldn't even hold her accountable back in the day. So nobody can hold women accountable in the United States. It is what it is, brother. It is what it is. The only thing that's going to happen is you're going to open yourself up to disrespect. So that's why it's best to not even say nothing. You see, when it comes to me, brother, I just ghost women, bro. I just ghost. I just block them on everything and I'm ghost. I'm, I'm in the wind. I'm, I'm off in the wind. You know what I'm saying? I'm gone. <laughs> I'm gone, bro. I'm gone. And I guarantee that speaks way louder than me opening my mouth and saying a single word. And you could have applied the same principle to this interaction. You could have just said, listen, I'm just ghosting. I'm never going to post about her anymore. I'm not going to give her no free promotion anymore. You don't want with the clout. You don't you don't want with the clout. You don't want with the bankroll. You hold all the power, but you gave up all the power. And now she dissing you on a major platform because you gave her your acknowledgement, which you should have never done. Now, let's get back into it. You had no problem with your dramatic music and your dumb ass lights going in on me. Oh, my God. Six of Goddess, you're evil. Where's your decorum? But then... A white woman, Pearl, sits there and literally mocks the fact that you had cancer, which could happen to any one of us at any time. And your response was not the same, but by now we already know what MTR is really on. Let's just say he has children. Let's just say he has people 
to take care of. He came from somebody, but even outside. So you're saying that you don't know him. He could have a wife. He could have a family. Uh, I have a family. Okay. Well, this is so weird to me. It's the hatred for women for me. MTR, what's your real problem? Where's your mama at? <sighs> like I said before, man, she's not accustomed to dealing with black men that really can hold her to any intellectual standard because I guarantee the height of conversation that she gets with most black men is some sexual joke, some sexual innuendo, cracking some jokes saying, baby, I'll drink your bath water. Oh my God, baby, I'll suck your toes. Oh my goodness. You know what I'm saying? That's the level of intellect she's accustomed to getting from the black man. Because the intelligent black man going to look at her and be like, I'm not wasting my time with this dumb ass shit, man. I got better shit to do, man. I'm not going to waste my time with this shit. And the only man that's willing to waste any time going back and forth with a woman is a man who's not really that intellectually sharp in the in the first place. So that's why she gets to use these, these stupid manipulation tactics. Where's your mama at? Oh, it was your mama. You hate black women. This is the hatred of women. Like, nigga, what? Like, any intellectual black man going to be like, all right, man, listen, I I'm going to go to the store. I'm going to get a sandwich and I'm going to go get a beer and I'm going to go watch the game. I'm not about to go back and forth with this dumb ass shit, but <laughs> let's get back into it. Yeah, spent all that money going over there to collab with Pearl. He ain't got no problem going to Pearl saying he want to collab with her. But when it comes to just saying he want to collab with me, he don't do that. Instead, he rather lie on me, disparage me and take videos down in which he talked about me. But when that white woman wants you to pull up, oh, you ha you couldn't wait. Ten dollars super chat. <laughs> Now, listen, in that aspect, I can't even defend you, MTR, because if y'all remember, I put out a classic video. I believe it was entitled The Black Manosphere versus Just Pearly Things, if I'm not mistaken. A classic video. And I flamed you up, MTR. In that video, I flamed you up for like 10 minutes straight. I flamed the entire manosphere up, to be honest. And one thing I did flame you up, MTR, was the fact that what Six the Goddess said earlier, I kind of mentioned that in that video, too. How when everybody came at you in the comment section, now all of a sudden you started talking like Booker C. Washington. When we know your channel was never really a pro-black channel, then you came up on the goddamn, you came up on the goddamn uh, YouTube and was like, my ancestors, Pearl, you disrespected my ancestors from the slave fields. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, you was you was kind of you put on your pro-black hat that day because the audience kind of told you what it was. So in that aspect, she is correct. She is correct. And you went to Pearl, but well, you hopped on the goddamn plane, went to London to collab with Pearl. I told y'all boys in that video too, you are better off instead of elevating Pearl, you should have elevated a black woman in the space. But I told y'all the black manosphere is not a pro-black type of sector. It's not a pro-black space. They're a multicultural space. They're an integrationist minded space. That whole red pill manosphere space is adversarial to their pro-black space. So that's why I was flaming up MTR for hopping on YouTube and talking like a pro-black revolutionary ready to destroy the establishment. Bro, relax. Relax, man. Relax. That's not your brand. That's not your image. You ain't have to do all that. That's why I cracked. I cracked. I cracked jokes on you that day, bro. I did. I did. I did. I did. Now let's get back into it. Are you going to respond to Pearl being racist? What? Lying. Many people been warning RP. Uh, hold on. By, by the time MTR did this live stream. Jason Black had did the expose on Pearl the night before. O'Shea had already did videos about it that day. Trust and believe, MTR knew exactly what they were talking about. He thought that he could just play dumb and his audience was going to let him slide. But they was like, no, what are your thoughts about it? What is going on? Now you're about to see him give the Oscar performance playing dumb as though he don't know what people are talking about. Many people have been warning RP creators about her. Now her true colors is showing. You going to respond? Y'all had no problem dissing Sneeko. What are you talking about? Crickets. Uh, I, I'm not sure what you're talking about, my brother. Uh, feel free to send me an email. Um, Not sure what you're talking about, my brother. Shout out to T with the $50 super chat. Okay. The irony is in you throwing the book at me and going in on me because I laughed at a black man almost dying that you don't even know him. You had nothing to do with the situation. And you called me every kind of evil and this, that, and the book. That's the irony. But then when a white woman disparages your entire race, disrespects the sacrifices of all your ancestors, and laughs at the fact that you the one that almost died and you're the one that has one testicle directly, now you don't beef. 
And now you want to take the high road. And that MTR is the true meaning of hypocrisy. Do you even know who you are? Do you even know how you, do you have any of your own thoughts? MTR, I know you're exhausted from traveling back and forth to appease everyone that says something to you. I know you're tired. Now, first things first, I got to address everything individually. The first thing she said, she said MTR defended a black man that he didn't know and that he had nothing to do with the situation. I'll say this. If black men are starting to get that type of solidarity, that's a good thing. I don't got to know you to defend you. I don't got to know you to rock with you. I don't got to know you to love you as my brother. I think if black men adopt that mentality, I think we're going to I think we're going to make some progress. Keep defending your brother. Keep coming to your brother's defense. Keep having your brother's back. This is why our forefathers told women sit down and stop talking sometimes, because when they run their mouth too goddamn much. Dumb shit start falling out eventually. So don't listen to none of that manipulation tactic nonsense. All of that is manipulation. Like I said, she is accustomed to dealing with black men who are controlled by their lust, the lust of the flesh, that are easily moved by physical presentations and not high intellect conversations. So six the guy to stop the games. Stop trying to run game. We see right through the bullshit. And when it comes to when it comes to MTR not playing both sides, we gotta keep it honest, man. MTR, yeah, he did, he did kind of flake and, and move with the wind when he seen the audience. He goes by what the audience says. That's the danger of being a content creator who your bread and butter, your livelihood is dependent upon creating content. That's a dangerous game. But anyways, cash app in the description, support the channel, donate to your boy, man, show your boy love. But what I'm saying is this, at the end of the day, MTR did cut ties with Pearl. In fact, I believe they had an entire series planned out with footage already planned out, footage already ready to release. And MTR cut ties. He said he didn't want that footage ever to hit the public. So we got to keep it real. MTR did keep the same energy after the audience gave him a certain energy. So let's get back into it. So yeah, this is why, you know, I, I just said before, I'm not going back and forth with y'all no more. You know, nobody laughed at no black man getting ready to lose his life. All is fair and love is war. I listen, man, listen. When she's talking about the black man, all is fair and love and war. Listen, we ready for whatever. You going hard, I'm going hard. But when it comes to her, I'm a damsel in distress. I'm a damsel, protect a black woman. Why would you defend another black man against me? You don't even know him. It's nothing to do with you. It's not your business. Protect me. Protect your sister. <laughs> Listen, but when it's the black man, all is fair in love and war. And that's the mentality of the black woman, bro. I'm sorry to tell you. When it comes to her, I'm a victim. Save me. Help me. Call 911. Call 411. Call 311. But when it comes to them, though, when they're going on the offensive, then they say, all is fair in love and war. It is what it is, man. That's why I tell y'all boys, don't even waste your time going back and forth. There is no logic. There is no reasoning. There is no common sense happening. When you lay down at the table and you debate going back and forth with a woman arguing, stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. It's never that important. She's never that important. It's never worth the energy. It's always going to be a waste of time. Anyways, man, it's your boy Never Card Desaline. Cash app up on the screen. Support your boy, man. Support the channel. Like I said, the channel is not monetized. Everything I get is going to be from the it's going to be from the people because I want to keep my content 100% authentic. I don't want to be forced to play within the boundaries of Google. So let's keep the let's keep the platform 100% independent. Support the channel. Show love. It's your boy Never Card Desaline, and I'm gone. On a horse and came back in that ass and I left with abundance and came back to famine. We used to be pavements, now we be rapping. Look how the mighty have fallen. Used to be running, now we be walking. When you be cooning, that's when they applauded. Selling your soul, your sons and your daughter. Gotta come up in this shit. They stuck in the mix. Really, my heart would be breaking. That's why I'm stacking that paper and handle my business. Pass it down in generation. Talking about money and power and building a nation. That's a deadly combination. Never be watching the TV, they pushing the genus. Falsifying information. Know they got malice intentions. Step in the room and I'm feeling the tension. Enemy watching me blocking my vision. Get for the check, cause I need my redemption. Building my kingdom, I need it protected. Ready for war like a young money Congo. Never decided the team is the model. Up in the crib and I'm whipping up waffles. Up in the crib and I'm smoking gelato. I'm chilling, I'm taking my pain and making ambition. I'm blessed by the guys, but I ain't religious. I came for the power, they came for the bitch. They make a no hourly wage. I got business. This shit is an art and they can never be taught. Selling my soul, I can never be bought. Play with my money, I see you in court. Run to the check and I do it for sport. Babylon falling, I go to the Packing my luggage and go overseas Shorty be with me and she so at least Shorty be charged that I'm calling her Hershey Secret intelligence probably gonna murder me Don't fuck with brands cause nigga I'm Haitian Say the wrong shit and you're smacking their faces